Hi everybody, this is uh, Delphine. I'm now um, just giving you an update of what I've got going here as far as Russellian research is concerned. Um, I have been working on making circuit board rings, you know, start from, uh, actually, start from sort of a copper board and make, end up making one of these guys. And what this does, see this is the actual, uh, this is where you put the wire through, these little holes. And this, these two holes right here are for mounting. So I just slide something in there, you know, like a threaded rod, and then I'll mount the whole thing on my apparatus, and then I can rotate it, and then, uh, as one unit. So that's an update there. Um, it's surprising I can make these out easy, you can make these circuit boards, you just... Um, this this guy I cut it with my uh, tape, uh, what do you know, drill press, and uh, just out of photo resist board. But this isn't a photo resist board, but they sell these market markers really expensive at like Fry's Electronics. But this is just a sharpie. You can get just a regular sharpie and mark up, you know, whatever, you know, like where this smiley face is on this board. The copper will stay if you use an etchant solution. So that's just a tip, you know, for those people making circuit boards out there. Um, real nice, you know, just get a regular Sharpie and, and you're good to go. Uh, another thing my friend showed me was uh, this little Helix guy. You can uh, touch up, you know, your circuit board, you know, before you go, you know, the marker. You can, you know, erase marker with it. I'll show you. See, look, there's a little piece I just erased, right? right there you can see that right there so yeah this is this is really nice um, little electric eraser you know it's portable it's really cool and uh, so yeah and so you know I've got these guys to go over my um, uh, electro you know my magnet cores and then that makes my electromagnet each of these wires going to be tri filer wire uh, wound with a drill and uh, special winding apparatus basically just a uh, thing you stick in the drill and three hole you punch three holes in and then you can put your wire through you know each wire th through each of those you know three holes and twist it and then uh, you got your you know hook up and then you just put the other end of the wire um, attach that to like a, a vice you know like a vice clamp or something that's you know stationary not moving so you can like on, drill to your desk or something like I've got and then you could just you know run the drill and it makes a tri-file or wire right there for you it's really cool so but the other thing I was wondering is does the direction of the turn you know of the electric motor you know your drill does your where you're winding your wire does that count you know does that make a big difference I don't know you know in what I'm doing you know I know one's counter one's clockwise and the other's counterclockwise so you could unwind your your wire and have a counterclockwise wound wire or wind your wire and have a clockwise wound wire but then again if you're attaching it from whatever direction you're going to go clockwise or counterclockwise you know because as you see me I'm doing counterclockwise now see me I'm going to do the same you know I'm doing clockwise and now it's well, it's counterclockwise on my screen, but it's, yeah, it's probably counterclockwise to you guys, yeah. But I'm seeing clockwise because I'm looking there. You guys are looking here. So it's different. It's perspective. And, uh, yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. I'm just uh, waiting. I've got some tubes on order waiting for those. I'm making circuit board bobbins. And when I'm complete with those, I'm getting a grinder, a sand sanding grinder. When I've got that, when I've got my circuit board bobbins made, you know, with my, I'm using JB Weld to weld it all together, uh, I mean, to, you know, epoxy it all together, and that will resist a high temperature, 500 degrees Fahrenheit, so I'm good, you know. And that JB Weld's hard to get off. But you can get the JB Weld off, trust me, without, without scraping it, without putting it in a furnace and, like, heating it up really hot, you can get it off, or torching it. You need uh, a thing they sell. It's like, uh, let me go grab it. It's 
too bad I can't pause the video, but now I can show you. That's all you buy. It's they sell, you know, Jasco sells it, and I threw some um, boiling water, you know, one to one ratio with this stuff. You just mix it with boiling water and you sit there and you boil it and you, you leave your part in that you know fluid for like we'll say an hour you know and don't use a gas stove use electric because this stuff will ignite this will explode or I don't know what it does it just says flammable I think on here somewhere trust me you don't want to no oh, it says non hmm. Well, either way, if it's if it's flammable, don't don't use a gas. If it's not flammable, then you can use a gas. I'm still, yeah, non-flammable. Okay, you can use a gas. I'm wrong, but I was also using acetone, and that is flammable. So, well, the gases are anyway. So I wasn't, you know, prepared to sacrifice my life on some silly thing I was doing. <laughs> you know. Uh, so, you know, think about these things before you do them, and do them the right way the first time. That way you're not going around having to do something else to fix your problems uh, to get done right the second time. So, you know, I'm still dealing with my tinnitus. I've got a ringing, very, very slight ringing. But I'm working on some cures for myself. I'm not at all going to the doctor for these kinds of things because they can be cured homeopathically, um, more so alchemically, because homeopathy is not considered alchemy. You know, alchemy is something much I hold in much higher regard than homeopathy because alchemy, you're taking the uh, the dead head and you're making it into the elixir. You know, you're transmuting something right there. You know, uh, you can take antimony, you know, which is the deadliest poison and turn it into the most beautiful cure for humanity, you know. And these are the things, you know, uh, Fukushima for example, you know, we shouldn't be working with this nuclear waste that they're putting out here <clears throat> into our environment. This is, you know, like um, my friend Robert um, Ote said, uh, this is this is the explosive principle and it should be kept underground in order to rejuvenate the earth, you know. This is something that's required for our, for our continued survival and if we take it and we um, uh, you know, make it into something that is a consuming type deal that we're now ingesting and we're now consuming for electricity or whatever purpose it may be for, in beside of its natural purpose, we're inviting death into ourselves, you know, because this is something that we shouldn't be dealing with. We should be dealing with clean energy, clean fuels, you know, why waste all this money on this mumbo jumbo, you know, let's go you know, buy this and buy that. Well, we could be getting it free, people. We could be getting it free. All we got to do is use our head. We have to understand how the processes work. Education isn't what it should be. And once we change education, you know, that's going to be our goal right there. You know, the pole shift's going to happen. People wake up, you know. Uh, we're going to get some land mass moving. I'm I'm planning to get my ass out of California. I'm not saying anything bad, but I mean, you know, I don't have complete faith that California is going to remain here for a long time. You know, we've got, what, four nuclear plants here in California? Oh my God, if those go under the water, you know, they're going to contaminate the water, but it's going to be a lot better under the water than it is in the air, which is now right in the air. <laughs> I mean, you know, besides in the plant, you know, it can, it has the capacity to get into the air. But yeah, I mean, it's all good, it's all good, and uh, peace, you know. I, I just want to put that out there, that uh, it's all good, just, you know, stay in tune, you know, and uh, hopefully we'll all get through this together, you know, because we can't be continuing to put out nuclear waste into the environment. This is just, this is insane, you know, this, I can't express it enough, I mean, it's, <laughs> come on, people. Why are we doing this? Why do we vote these things in, you know? Why? <laughs> we don't. It's controlled, you know? It's money, you know? And that's it. That's the bottom line, you know? But yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it's going to be exciting. We're going to get new stuff, you know? Something's going to happen, you know? We're going to eventually 
you know, and uh, we're going to get through this together because the more we, nu we nuke the world, the less, you know, sustainable we're going to be able to have our, our world. But, um, you know, um, my heart goes out to the Hopi Indians because they're doing all they can. But, you know, they may be our only chance, you know. Now I'm getting all religious. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what the future holds, and I don't plan on, you know, being a fortune teller or whatnot. But I, I do have high hopes that people will have um, the ability to change before uh, something major happens. Look at the people in Japan. How much notice did their government give them? Think about it, people. Think about it real hard. Anyway, I'm signing off and uh, hopefully have some new updates and some new technologies. Peace.